we can sort the table. Okay, there are two kind of way you can sort it. Like by default, you get this the column level sorting. And uh, there's the one way you can sort it. You can choose like that. Like like you know, you can implement a sort by. I can have a like you know, you can have a column. You can do that. Right you now, for example, if you are reading a description, it can be sorted by description. If you go for the table Z to A, does that sorting. Now, what is the difference between these two? Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, I guess, I guess this probably the sorting is within that whatever the record cached in that, like you know, in the UI side, and this sorting is happening in the back end. That's what I guess, but I have no idea. If any of you know, please put it in comment so I also learn something. Okay, now let's get into coding. Uh, we we are using the same uh, uh, project we used it last time for uh, that uh, dynamically selecting or uh, like you know unselecting the column in the table. So now let's see what is that look like project look like. Okay, so this is the one we implemented. Now we are going to implement the sorting. That's very easy. Before that, we create a we create a two variables. One is for sorting purpose. Other one is uh, like you know holding a value for a sorting. Okay, now uh, okay, this is called table sorting object. TBL TBL this is object create new table sorting where this is a string so basically this is a string this is to like you know what what whenever you click what that is what is getting stored here Okay. Within this object, within this object, you had a two column. Basically, like you know, whenever you are, uh, like um, whenever you use a sorting, you need a two uh, field. One is attribute, other one is a direction. Okay, that is the one. We eight new. The other one is a direction. Okay, just I'm copying and pasting it rather than typing it. You can like you know, it's easier like the attribute and that. Okay, this one. Now create. Okay. Now I'm going to the table. Apps plan. I'm going to the table. There is a sort criteria. Like you know, you can look at the sort criteria. And then you can the sort criteria. Okay. Sort criteria is an array. You can have multiple columns to use it. In this case, we are basically using only one column because that is that. Uh, choice we have it. Uh, where is that uh, table? Okay, table. This is what we are having here. Okay. Now let's see. It is working. It it doesn't work. The reason is it may not fetch the values. Okay, because there is nothing called sorting. So what we do here is we give a some default value. Plan, name, direction, ascending. A S C E N D ascending. Okay, that is what. Now let's see. So by default you get it sorted by one column. Okay, now it, by default it is coming like ascending order plan name. That is fine. Now what we do? Uh, okay, now we go to the base designer. We have this one. The last time we like you know we said that we have to have an active column and this one that uh, the excluded column. So that's okay. Now when you go here. You can have a, you can choose a sorting. There's a two. One is a like sorting, sorting options. Other one is sorting value. 
So sorting value is the place where that sorting variable goes. Table sorting variable goes. So this is where whatever you are selecting will be stored. Now here, here two ways you can do that. You can have a kind of a variable you can put that or you can hard code it. That is up to you. Like you know, uh, like here basically I am hard coding it for the timing. Okay. Plan name. That is a sort value. That is a basically a okay. A yes. See, this is how I am implementing it. You can implement the way you want it. Okay. Here there is no uh, a column to store. What is the direction? So basically, I am storing both in the same variable. Then I am going to like you know split it. Okay. Plan name A to Z. Okay. I am creating a one. Okay. Plan name. So DSE, so I will have a, okay, I will have a new plan name, okay, Z to A, I will have one more, I think the description, description, I think spelling is the column name, spelling is right, okay, DSE, DSE, okay, so basically here I am copying that, I am putting it here, putting A to Z, DSE, Z to A. Okay. What do I have to do? Yeah. Okay, that's it. So now if you are going and looking at that this one, you may see it. See, you already got that plan name, everything, but it's not doing anything. Now, how do we make this action works? Okay, now we go here, we go to the event. We go to the new event, custom event. Okay, custom event, if you are going the end, there's a property change event. Okay, uh, you go to the property change event, there is, you are going that, there is something called uh, selected uh, sort value. Okay, you choose that. Okay, now create a new event. Okay, now this event passes you a variable, selected sort value. Now let's see what it is passing. So we know what we are getting out of it. Uh, summary is uh, okay, selected. So this is what we are getting it. So now we are going to see what are we getting out of it. Okay, when I choose this one, I'm getting a brand name. That is that that uh, the ID or the value. Okay, what is the display value? What is the value? This is what I'm getting is a brand name designing. If okay, I go for uh, this one, so that is what I'm getting it. Okay, now what I'm going to do then here is now I'm going to use this one to my purpose. What I need is there's a two things I need. What is basically I need a column name, one is a direction. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a two variable here. Name. direction okay. okay now I go to that diagram I have an assignment okay you can have it here and can have sorry you can have that here okay now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to assign my value to column this is what I'm going to do here. Okay, now the direction is last three character. So split slice again. Okay, slice minus three. So that gives me that AAC are descending. Okay, I'm saying that. Now I'm coming to column name. Okay, here also I'm slicing slice zero to length minus four. So basically that that's the reason I, I kind of made it three character of fourth. So I get that dot L E N G T H minus four. So in this case, what you are getting here is exactly the column name. Now let's see what we are getting it. Okay. 
that is the reason I did it. I'm putting a column name here. In the message, I'll put a direction. Okay. Now let's see how does it work. Okay. Plan name. Okay, I'm getting, uh, there is a probably a minus by three. Let me have a look at that. There's something is wrong here. Okay. Let me go and see that column name. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It is not a slice length. Okay, variable selected value length minus four. Okay, so that's a copy and paste error. Okay, plan name. Okay, plan name ascending. Okay, so now I know what is my column name. Now what is my direction? Now what I'm going to do here is. I'm going to I'm going to remove that. I don't need that anymore, so I can't that part. Now I'm going to create a one more direction. Okay. So once that direction is done, now I'm going to assign this value to table sorting object. Okay. Column name goes to column name attribute, and the direction goes to the direction goes to direction. But the direction is not right. So what I do here is TSC and in R. Okay, this is you can do it even in that you can when you are assigning also you can do that. This place is equal to three, uh, like you know the descending that you can do that. Then you can do it directly. You can do that. Uh, assignment you can do either here you can do that or previous assignment also you can work it out okay this is that is you can choose it how do you want to do that okay once this is done all we are going to do here is we are going to refresh the table refresh the table okay apps plan okay now let's see I hope it works. Okay, plan name, anyway, that is what it is. So that is fine. See, it is changing. Description is uh, description A to Z. Description, now it is coming. Because empty is coming in there, the Z to A. Okay, this is how you implement this SAP. As I said, I don't know the difference. Why, why, why? Probably this is going to work within that the data which is in the UI, and this is working in the end. But if you know, please let me know. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. Thank you. Till I see you with the next video. Bye.